White chocolate chips, crunchy macadamia nuts, and a chewy cookie all in one delicious package. Say hello to my white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookie. So delicious and easy too. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These cookies will be ready in a snap. So let's get started. First off, let's add our dry ingredients to a bowl, starting off with one and a half cups or 180 grams of all-purpose flour. In you go. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. That was too little, that was too much. That's just right. Okay, set this aside. Now, one quarter teaspoon of salt, in you go. If you're using salted butter, skip the salt. I'm using unsalted butter, so I have to add salt in. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, in you go. We're gonna give this a quick whisk, 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 and then set it aside. Now let's get to our butter sugar situation. Set aside. Before I take that mixer out, let's give our macadamia nuts a rough chop. I'm using these beautiful whole ones. Gosh, I love macadamia nuts so much. Whenever I have one, I feel like I'm back in Hawaii, which I'm so far away from now. This is the one thing about living on the East Coast. Pop this onto your comically small chopping board and give them the roughest of chops. I really just wanna have them. I could totally have a couple whole ones in there too. Be very gentle with them. Most of my delicious macadamia nuts have been chopped. Not all of them, that's fine. And I'm just gonna pop them back into my measuring cup for later. Seeing these makes me think of like a macadamia nut, like whipped coconut dessert. Mm. I don't know, I wanna like, might have to like recipe test something for that. So good. In the meantime, let's whip that butter and sugar. We're making cookies today. Now we're gonna add 113 grams or half a cup, one stick of unsalted butter into our stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. You can definitely do this in a bowl with a hand mixer if you want to. Lock it up and then just mix it up a bit to get the butter a head start. Now we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup or 150 grams of regular old granulated sugar. In you go. Now mix it up, mix a, mix a, mix a. We want this to be like light and fluffy and just nice. Never be afraid to follow your heart or scrape that bowl down. All right, now let's add one egg in, room temperature, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, now dump in that flour mixture. In you go. We're gonna mix it up on low until almost combined, almost. <laughs> I don't know why I was looking to the bowl like this, like, tell me a story, <laughs> like it's just mixing. But I'm watching you. Okay. Right now I'm gonna scrape it down and it might look a little bit crumbly right now because I forgot to add my one teaspoon of cornstarch. It's gonna make these just hold together a little bit better. That's okay though, you can forget things. You're a human being. So, if you do that, should have gone in with the dry mixture. I'm just going to tap, tap, tap it in as it mixes up, tap, tap, tap. There, that's all fine, it's totally fine now. You can see that my cookie dough has come together, that's perfect. But what has to happen now? White chocolate chips, macadamia nut. This is gonna be delicious. So you need one cup of white chocolate chips for this. I'm gonna weigh that out for everyone at home. <laughs> 168 grams of white chocolate chips, and you go. Thank you, Scale. We're gonna fold most of these in. I'm gonna reserve a small handful. Those will be stuck on top at the very end. Add in those white chocolate chips and those precious macadamia nuts. You can like take a couple and reserve them as well. Those will look nice on top too. Add those in. Use the power of your stand mixer to gently fold these in, just a couple seconds. Fold a, fold a, fold a. Thank you, stand mixer. If you're ever mixing cookie dough by hand, do not use a spatula with a wooden handle. It will snap. I've learned this the hard way. You can use a wooden spoon, but not those spatulas. They have really thin pieces where they join up. Now it's time to chill the dough, give it at least 30 minutes, an hour might be even nicer. In you go, let's cover it up, let's go. Okay, good morning. I actually let this chill overnight because I had a ton of stuff to do. Those boys need to eat dinner on time or else. Um, 
I'm gonna scoop this dough out now. It's a little bit harder than it might have been if it only chilled for an hour or half an hour. <laughs> That's fine, you can always chill dough overnight. Scoop out roughly two tablespoon sized heaping balls of dough. Press them together a bit, give them a quick roll. I like to just tamp my cookies down just a little bit. All right, my first batch is on the baking sheet, but here's the deal. These macadamia nuts were like really, really, really nice ones. Not salted though. So if you're using a salty macadamia nut, it actually gives you a good balance to the white chocolate chips. These didn't have that. They have a wonderful buttery texture though. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt on top. I'm not gonna go crazy, but just a little bit of a sprinkle. It'll make a difference. And I'm also gonna decorate these with some of my reserved chocolate chips. So just pop a few on. The idea is they just look nice and clean. There's no dough on them and they'll be pretty and glossy. And a cookie should be delicious and beautiful if possible. But if it can only be one of the two, it will just be delicious. And then also add a couple macadamia nut chunks on top. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a tiny sprinkle of some flaked salt on top. It'll give them a nice contrast. And this flaked salt looks gorgeous. This is gonna go into the oven, 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. They'll be lightly browned and the edges will be set. You'll see what they look like in just a moment. Cannot wait to take a bite, but before I do, if you like this recipe, check out my cookie playlist. Tons of cookies for you to enjoy and like just bake, 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 bake. Okay, now it's time for a bite. That's like a hello lover moment. Oh my gosh, these are so good. The crunch, the perfect sweetness, a little bit of salt and that chewy cookie in one package. Oh, I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next cookie video.